Golden Boot as the top scorer in the tournament. After the match, U.S. coach Jill Ellis said, quote, they made history. Talk about girl power. Awesome mm. job, ladies. Skip, yes, how was. impressive was this American team? <sighs> Going into this World Cup, the prevailing question was, has the rest of the world caught up to the U.S. women? Yeah, has France caught up? Has England caught up? And the resounding answer was no. no! <laughs> because this team was clearly the best in all the matches that I watched. Yep. And they stood up to incredible pressure to prove once again yesterday they were the best. And that's what makes it so unbelievable what they did is because they were the overwhelming favorites. And to do it in the fashion in which they, they never trail. Megan Rapino was unbelievable. But Skip, in the first half, that Dutch goalie, that score she really should have been. It should have been over in the first half. But she was standing she on her head. Up. She was standing on her head. And you know what? I was like, yeah, we got this one. Once, you got once we got that first goal, Skip, I said, the dam about to crack. Really? And then here come the water. And then mm -hmm. like a couple of minutes later, left footy kick into the net, and we sell it. That was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. May Rapino fake died, though. Because mm -hmm. the two penalty kicks the other day, she went lower left. And the Dutch goalie she thought she was going to go lower uh -huh. left again. She like, uh, uh -huh. go to the right. Well, at least you had that to root for this <laughs> week. No, I got a lot to root for. There's a lot of positive going on in my life. Man, it's tough when you have a target on your back. You know, you... The U.S. women or Shannon after this weekend. Mm. All right, let's get back to the NBA. Kawhi Leonard became the latest superstar who chose not to join LeBron. Remember last year, Paul George looked like he was coming to the Lakers, but then, nah, he spurned them as well. Mm. Sean Powell of NBA.com wrote this. The player left scratching his head today is LeBron. Yes, LeBron did at least get Davis, but Davis was already part of LeBron's inner circle as a client of Clutch Sports. And so to summarize, LeBron never managed to get free agents to Cleveland unless you count his aging pal Dwayne Wade. And the same now goes for the Lakers. Mm. Tough criticism. Mm. Sure guy. What do you think all this says about LeBron? I think this is unfair uh, about LeBron because here's the thing. He's in an unwinnable situation. If LeBron tries to recruit, he's weak for trying to recruit the great players. If he doesn't get anyone, no one wants to play with him. So how does he win? Did, hold on, with Kevin, so... I guess with, he's in a lose-lose situation. He, he really is, Kevin, because guess what happened? He got he got a Kevin Love to come mm. to Cleveland. He got Kevin Love to do the exact, same thing, the exact same thing that Paul George did. You have little to no respect for Kevin Love. That's nothing here, okay. no there, but hold on. <laughs> was Kevin Love, Kevin Love was an all-NBA player, Skip. He was 26-14. and 14. Yeah, and he missed the playoffs all six years in Minnesota. Go ahead. That was okay. But was he not a great player, though, Skip? I wouldn't go great. He's a, a very good player. He was a very good player. Yeah. He was a very, very good player. Mm -hmm. And LeBron got him to come to Cleveland. LeBron helped build those teams in Miami. Ray Allen came. So why do you think Ray Allen came down there? He came down there for what? Shane Battier, why did he come down there? Mm -hmm. Why did uh, D. Wade and Chris Bosh want to pair together? Was that because if so, D, if uh, LeBron was a bum, mm -hmm. would D. Wade and Chris Bosh wanted to pair up in Miami? No. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, it just seems to me that whenever LeBron does something, now he's doing the exact same thing. So is Kawhi, is Kawhi weak for recruiting Paul George? No. No, it was great. It was great. It was, LeBron went to, my, went to L.A., with nobody. He didn't recruit anybody. Says, I'm going to trust Magic. Magic's going to get it done. Kawhi goes out and recruits Paul George. And everybody's talking about, boy, look at the great job he did. Nobody's saying Kawhi is weak for recruiting. Only LeBron James get labeled as weak for recruiting players. Mm. And when things don't go out, he can't get anybody. Mm. So how does he win, Skip? He can't. He needs help. He just needs a See, lot of help. So what does Kawhi need? Why didn't Kawhi go to the Clippers by himself? If Kawhi's that dog, everybody say he's the best player. He's the new face of the NBA. I never said he was that dog. Okay, but but you know? we, but you're hearing okay. that too. All right, you're hearing that. You you give you credit. You've been on the island. Kawhi mm -hmm. Kawhi's persona non grata. Mm -hmm. But everybody said Kawhi's that dog. Mm -hmm. Kawhi swings the balance of power. Why didn't the hell he take his ass to the Clippers by himself? Oh. But nobody will say a word about Kawhi Leonard recruiting. But let LeBron James. All Kawhi Leonard did was the exact same thing LeBron James did. He wanted Anthony Davis. Now, this could have been handled a lot better because Dale Demps could have did what David Griffin did. The same piece was on the table. Right. And Dale Demp said no. D Griffin comes in, boom, makes the deal. Mm. What's the difference? Mm. Paul George went to Sam Preston and says, I want out. Mm. Get what you can. 
They make the deal happen. Paul George is not criticized. Anthony Davis was. Mm. Kawhi Leonard is not criticized. LeBron James is. Mm. I just don't get it. I just believe he's in an unwinnable situation no matter what he does. But I can promise you one thing. Mm. Old LeBron James I know ain't scratching his head. Mm. And he got a head full of hair to scratch, too. He does? Do the hair like this. Here and there. Mm. Ain't no here and there. You got a hair (laughs) full of hair. I think it's here and there. No, it's not. It might have some help here and there. I would let you off the hook for this if you didn't repeatedly attempt the blasphemy that is your position that LeBron James is the GOAT. If you just told me he was the second best player ever, I would let you off this hook. (laughs) If you continue to tell me he's better than that guy up in Chicago. Yeah. And that guy, Michael Jordan, didn't want to recruit anybody. You said, well, they drafted Scottie Pippen. Okay, so they drafted somebody for him, but he never recruited anybody. But if he had... Trust me on this. Whoever shoulder he had tapped, they would run to Chicago to play with him. Tapped on Robin's no, shoulder. Okay. Well, kind of he did, kind of a little bit. But there are a lot of shoulders he wanted to tap that Jerry Krause said no to because right. we know Michael has a hard time picking players, yeah, right? Because right. he's we've we see seen that, we see that okay, now. right? <laughs> and I remember once upon a time he wanted Al Wood. I used to call him Balsa Wood yeah. because he was, you know, hit and miss. <laughs> but, but again, he wanted all of his North Carolina cronies in Chicago. Yeah. And a lot of times Jerry Krause, to his credit, said no, no, that's just that won't work for us. But the point was, it wasn't the same era. It, it wasn't rampant recruiting right. of, of co-stars. And Fred just didn't move. It was, okay. Fred just was nothing like this. Okay. So now we're in a new era. But if Michael had played in this era and he had decided to play the game the way everybody else is playing the game to compete against the super teams that were, were joining forces all around him, Whoever he said, you, you, and you, they they would come to him. Well, you don't know that for certain, okay. Skip. It's easy to well, speculate just, that. Well, who wouldn't want to play with him? Well, how did it work God. out? Kobe? Well, Kobe is the closest thing to Michael Jordan. How many guys did Kobe tap on their shoulder and came to the Lakers? Name one guy that Kobe got in free agency in 20 years. Kobe was difficult to play with. I don't think Michael was difficult to play with at all. He was the ultimate leader. The man punching people in the face, Gil. Okay, but that worked. <laughs> what do you mean it worked? It worked. He motivated by fear. You don't play for me, I'll punch you in the jaw. Huh? Little man, s- Gil, baby, you ought to be ashamed of you <laughs> <to be> sham- <laughs> yourself. Yeah, you got worked, jumped in Will Perdue's hey. face. He was just swinging on everybody. Hey, and you talking about he's easy to play did, with. Did, did you ever, Will Perdue from Vanderbilt, by the way. Yeah, he swung on him. Yeah, he did. He did. Well, Stevie <laughs> Kerr. But the point is, did you ever hear one of those ex-teammates say, I hated playing with Michael Jordan? I've never heard a peep of that. Well, nobody said they hated playing with Braun. It's just like with Tom Brady. I've never heard one ex-teammate say, I hated him, or he was a phony, or he was disingenuous or whatever, right. some of the stuff that you say that he the is. The book coming okay. out, but don't worry okay. about okay. it. Okay, all right, there's a book coming out that says you. Okay, so so here we have, we, we actually started with Kyrie saying, I just can't take the drama anymore. I want out of here. Right. For whatever reason, he just said, I can't take the drama king's drama. I'm right. worn out from it. And then we had Paul George. We had magic. Remember going on Jimmy Kimmel doing the wink, wink that he got in trouble for when he asked about Paul George because he thought it was a done deal. Well, it might be a bigger indictment on magic hmm. because who was magic? Who did magic talk to? Kyrie, he talked to uh, Paul George and he talked to Kawhi, and both of them left. So it might be a bigger indictment on Magic Johnson because I will you give said you some of that because you said LeBron was coming here regardless, mm-hmm. and he just wanted just just wanted to just. Say hello to Magic Johnson. Le- 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 LeBron knocked on Magic's door. It really wasn't vice versa. Yeah. It was like Peyton going to Denver. It's just yeah. like, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Exactly. Whether you like it or not, right? Yep. Okay, so, so we had Kyrie first, and then we had Paul George just say, I'm from there, but I don't want, I, I just can't take the drama. I don't want to try to share the stage because it's high pressure. It's hot spotlights. Right. It's hard, man. Right. It's hard to be the second to LeBron. Well, plus, it's also hard, Skip. When you go there, when you play with LeBron, you know what the expectations are. And Paul George is about to realize that because now the expectations is championships. Paul George never played with the expectations of championship. I don't care what anybody tell, tells you. Nobody thought that the uh, OKC Thunder were serious title contenders. Mm-hmm. With Paul George, uh, uh, Steven Adams, and Russ. Nobody thought that. And everybody keeps talking about this toxicity. But you think about it. Kyrie says, I didn't want to play in this environment. And he, re- he went and recreated the very thing that he left in Cleveland. He recreated that. Mm-hmm. Look at KD. K- KD's situation, KG's got to find out, you gotta find out what's going to make him happy inside. And then we can move on from there. But that's not about playing with somebody. But Skip, 
LeBron says, okay, everybody, and I hear all these old guys, LeBron's out there recruiting. LeBron is doing this. Okay, how much help does he need? He wants all the good players. He weak. I would have never done that. Larry Bird had never done that. Magic would have never done that. Okay, now he doesn't get them. Nobody wants to play with it. What that thing? So I, how does he win? Just hey, tell to, how does he to, win? To your first point. Magic obviously was a much better player, not a much better, but a better player than Jerry West was. Yes, yes. But listen, Jerry West as a GM, I want to know what he tells him. Team builder, what he tells him. Whoa, he tells him something. Yeah, he tells him, "I mean, come on now." Hey, I, I want Jerry West recruiting from.